There's an old joke about treadmills, and it goes something like this. I once bought a treadmill, and now it's the most expensive clothes hanger in my room. People laugh, they know it's true. The fact is, we often buy things with good intentions, but never end up actually using them. Of course, in the scenario above, if the treadmill was only serving as a clothes hanger in the corner of our room, that would mean one thing. But the reality is, it is more than just a clothes hanger. It is taking up space, and lots of space. It's taking up valuable physical space in our room. It's another physical object in our home that we have to dust, we have to clean, we have to vacuum around, we have to walk around, we have to pack up if we're ever going to move. But more than physical space, it also takes up mental space in our mind. As Randy Elkhorn says, every increased possession adds increased anxiety onto our lives. And this is totally true. That unused item, a treadmill, or anything else is visual clutter in your home. It calls for your attention every time you walk into the room. It surfaces guilt that you wasted money on it. It causes regret every time you see it. And it serves as a constant reminder that at some point, you have to decide what you're going to do with it. Our unused items are not passive, they are active. They take up space, physical and mental. Which takes me back to the old adage about the treadmill. One time I bought a treadmill, and now it's the most expensive clothes hanger in my home. There's a lot of truth in that statement, maybe even more than we realize. Think about it. If the treadmill is not being used, what is it exactly? It's not a piece of exercise equipment if it's not being used for exercise. It really is just a really large clothes hanger. This question begins to extend beyond treadmills, and we can begin to ask it about anything that we've bought, anything that we have that we don't use. For example, if there's a shirt in your closet that you never wear, is it really a shirt? Is it just a piece of fabric in your closet taking up space? If there's a coffee mug in your cabinet and you haven't used it for the longest time to actually hold coffee, what is it? Just a piece of ceramic collecting dust. If there are tools in your garage that aren't being used, are they actually tools or just things taking up space? If the plastic spatula is never used, is it really used for cooking anymore, or is it just something you have to move every time you open up the drawer? Or what about a book? Like, books are there for education or for entertainment. And if you're not using a book, if you're not reading it, isn't it just a bunch of papers bound together on a shelf? Desktop computer, you don't use it anymore. It's just a bunch of electrical components sitting on a desk somewhere. If you never listen to the CDs, if you never use the camping gear, if you never use the old phones, if you don't know what these cords go to, if you never play that piano, if you never use the purse, if you never wear the shoes, it seems to me the items in our home should serve a purpose. They should be used for the reason we bought them. And if they're not, then they're no longer serving their purpose. They're only taking up space.